my tip is a whole around a whole lot of things to do with automation because if you've noticed stuff inside Teams and Microsoft, they're now building out some functionality inside there so you can actually automate a whole lot of your task. And there's, surely there's going to be some ways of being able to do that in your space. Now, you can do that by adding um, what we call bots or applications to a team or a channel. So I'm going to come to my general channel in here and click into here. And I can open this one up. Sorry, come down to the bottom. I'll just hide this a little bit down here to my new conversation. And anytime in these three dots, I can click on in here and go to more apps. And it'll bring up all the applications that I can add into my Microsoft Teams account. Now, when you do it, you actually have to get permission. So I often ask you for permission to be able to do it. But once they're loaded in there, you've got apps that you can actually use. There's a whole stack that are built straight into Teams. You can see them all in here. But if you scroll down a bit further, there's some really cool things in here that you can tap into. Now, I want to mention about two or three of my favorite ones before I show you another cool one. Inside here, there's one called Who. Now, if you've got your organization structure entered into Microsoft via your, um, your groups and your IDs inside SharePoint, you might have a new person that comes into your, your, your workplace. They can jump into Teams and say, who's responsible for HR? And it will bring up the people that are responsible for HR. So they don't actually have to go and ask someone how to do that. It's already done for them, which is really, really cool, which I think is fantastic. The other one, which I really love, which we haven't got time to get in today, is a thing called Power Automate. Now, Power Automate enables you to be able to set up automated workflows based on a trigger or an action. So let's pretend that I, whenever I get a post from Sam, I need to know that that's going on and I need to be have that post added to a to-do list. I can set that up automatically to flow straight inside Teams. So I don't actually have to worry about doing anything myself. Similarly, I could have an email coming in from, say, a John, and any time an email comes from John, I need it to be punched to the training team. I can then set up a Power Automate flow so it grabs that email, whacks it in as a post into that team. So all that kind of stuff can be done automatically through Power Automate. It's absolutely superb. You can lose half a day planning them out and making them work. But that's not what I want to show you. I want to show you one that I added today. Now, I'm going to come up to here and do a search. I'm just going to do a search under secretary. There you go. This one in here. So you probably have, have had that issue of where you want to get five or six people together for a meeting. So you open up your calendar and you open up everyone's calendars. You put them next to each other. Or you start going, I'll put a time in and see who's free. And you've got three out of the five people free. And then you adjust the time and you get two out of the five. Then you adjust it again. You get one out of the five. And an hour later, you still haven't found a time to meet because it's really tricky. But the secretary bot can actually do it for you. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to come into, back into my chats. And you'll see that in my chats, I have a thing here called secretary bot. So she lives in here now. I've added her to my team. And she just sits there and waits for me to ask her a question. So if I click on her now and open it up, it'll come like this and says, what do I want to do? I'd love to arrange a meeting, please. Now, I can also do a meeting with multiple users, but I haven't clicked on that one yet. I'm just going to arrange a meeting in here. This is ready. I'm going to arrange a meeting. Fantastic. It'll come back to me and say, oh, look, you want me to arrange a meeting? I'll find some attendees from the people that you've been working with. I'll go, oh, look, there we are. Oh, look, great. I'd like to have a, a meeting with Samantha, please. Cool. Because it's gone through my contacts. Um, Okay, how long do you want to have for the meeting? I'd like it to be about 30 minutes would be great. And all I need to do is type in the number 30. Beautiful. Hit return. Secretary bot grabs it and goes, okay, now I've got that. What's the subject of the meeting? I'm going to go cake day planning. Beautiful. And the secretary bot will go away and go and find some common times. Oh, here we go. Friday, tomorrow. That, that too, that's perfect. Perfect. Let's me do that. Um, Oh, it's today. That's going to be straight after this, Sam. All right, bad luck. And then once we're there, we can actually keep on going uh, multiple other times. Or if I can just go, you know what? I love that time. I don't want others. I'm going to go next. And automatically that's added to my calendar and Sam's calendar and all done. Wow. So that is superb. So the, the beta version, there's a paid version, but in the beta version, which is coming out soon, is I can put down five or six people and it will go through and find the five or six people and book a meeting for me. So that for me is absolutely superb and so much fun to do. 
Uh, it's very cool. So I used to have a PA called Harshney, and Harshney would do that for me. Um, so this is my virtual Harshney. That's just really, really cool.